So yeah, unfortunately no Disneyland today, but that's okay, San Diego's fun. <laughs> Check that one out if you like espresso martinis. Do a lot of stuff at night, even though you've been working. 
Yeah, I don't... Like, last week we attempted to do the balloon, <laughs> but we still went to go watch a movie and do the VR. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, the VR was four minutes. <laughs> it was still pretty cool. It was cool. Yeah. I felt like we were in Tron. Yeah. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, anyways. Heading down to San Diego for the day, so taking you guys along with us. your phone you can't try but they always come back running up and i wish that they still knew me always come back running up made it to san diego to la jolla just want to show you guys my outfit really quick so jeans are abercrombie dad jeans asymmetric waist top is cotton on then i have this is gold from urban outfitters it's a little bit chilly today it's just this cute little sherpa These are the Luxol Converses, and then just did the coach crossbody because it's easier to carry. Oh yeah, it's the outfit, and we're gonna go see the sea lions. for a little quick snack. Had a sandwich, it was really good, but this is their mint cold brew. We went to Better Buzz, which is where I went before, and like the last time I went to San Diego, but this, this is my first time getting it, it's so good. Like, yeah, highly good. recommend, yeah. Trevor got like a regular cold brew, but I'm glad I got this, because, I mean, you can't get this anywhere else, but yeah, I highly recommend it. If you go, you have to get the mint cold brew. It's so bomb. Mm. But, yeah, we had a fun little chill couple of hours. How do you like the seals, babe? I uh, I like La Jolla. La Jolla. La Jolla. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> I like yeah. La Jolla. It's really a. It's a great area. Really mellow area. That's why I wanted to bring you here, and you didn't like it. I really like it. Yeah. Here. Ooh, that's a nice hotel. Yeah. But yeah, this time that we went, it was <clears throat> low tide, so. We were able, I mean, you guys saw, we got really close to them. Usually, like, last time we came, it was high tide, so, like, if you tried going down there, you would be in water. But this time, you could go, like, completely out onto the rocks, get really close to them. I mean, you shouldn't get too close, because yeah, don't got, disturb them, but... Nobody tried to pet them on. Yeah, them yeah. Right. Uh, sure. But, yeah, it was really cool to kind of get up close and personal with them. We didn't go to the bookstore just because we both had to go to the bathroom, so we just breeze past it. Maybe next time I come to La Jolla, I'll do the bookstore, but at that point, we were just, our mission was to find a freaking restroom. So we just arrived here in Little Italy. This is where we're gonna meet our friends for dinner, but we're gonna do a little exploring first. Have you been in this area before? No. Oh, okay. Trevor's first time in Little Italy. It's cute, like I said, it's just mainly like restaurants and then like some shops. Oh, cool. they have the Ukrainian flag, so. That too. Yeah, couple 
Monica and I was not expecting it to be this nice. Oh my god. Like our whole party wasn't here yet and like they can't see you until you're a party here but they were like let's let us just show you to the garden while you wait and that's where we're at right now. I was like what? And the view here is beautiful. Yeah, so flyovers by the yeah. <laughs> but I was can't wait to try the food. If like the atmosphere and ambiance is this good, I'm sure the food is amazing. Skin's going black on the melanin show. I don't wanna hear while I'm up in the skin. No need to knock while we up in the clear. No, no, you keep saying <laughs> your friends. I'm not at this high I get school. It. I get it. Oh my god. Anyways, we should check. Just like at how many different type of yeah. genres are down here. Yeah, totally. But yeah, we went to a couple different bars. The carousel one was pretty cool. Like the the decor the in it was really cool. And then the um, what's it called? The espresso martinis there. Some of the best espresso martinis I've ever had. So go check that one out if you like espresso martinis. The one we were just at, really cool atmosphere. But dinner, oh my god. It was awesome. That was so Home good. Run. First off, the decor and the atmosphere, 10 out of 10 completely. But like the food, shit. Like we got that table side mozzarella. That was a really cool experience. Did the, did That's you get a, a must shot of that? do. Yeah. Oh okay. god, I filmed like the whole thing. It was awesome. That's a must-do. And then Trevor got the carbonara. And it was all it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot, but it was really good. It was very good though. Super good. And then I got the arancini, which is technically an appetizer. It's a truffle arancini, but it was so good. So check them out. It was really good. Everything we got them. tonight was really good. Yeah, and obviously too spending time with friends and stuff. But we're gonna head back now. Making our truck to the car because we gotta check on the puppy. Okay, folks, back home, just letting Spart out to pee for the night. Whoa. But I just wanted to recap San Diego for you guys, or for like anybody who watches vlogs, just like for suggestions of stuff to do. Go to the potty. Go potty, Bubba. Go pee. First off, if you are trying to do San Diego on a budget, that first stop that we made, La Jolla, to go see the seals is absolutely incredible. Like one of the best things that you can do for free. I mean, technically you're spending gas to get there. We were lucky we found parking just on the street, but you may have to pay for parking. Really, really great activity. And like I had explained earlier, we were really lucky today that we went at low tide. And then also that restaurant that we went to, Seneca Trattoria. So our friend had texted us and said that they had been dying to go. They really wanted to try it really bad. So we were like, yeah, we're down. Let's go try it. You guys, that place is like a 15 out of 10. It's so good. Like ambiance on point. Decor inside on point. The view, spectacular. The food, oh my God, out of this world. I mean, you have to do the table side mozzarella. You can't go there and not do the table side mozzarella. Just know that. So if you're going to go order the table side mozzarella because it's incredible like they literally made it in front of us it was cheese curds that they brought out that they just like whipped up into fresh mozzarella it was so good oh my gosh and then it came with like the charcuterie and then the bread Ugh. incredible like if you go there and just get cocktails and the mozzarella absolutely worth it and if you do get cocktails i recommend the i think it was the pesco pesca bianco 
was the spritz that I got, which is basically their peach spritz. So amazing and light and fresh for summer. But if you're gonna stay there for dinner too, if you want another appetizer, the truffle arancini that I got was really amazing. I ended up getting it as my meal because we had the mozzarella and I was still a little bit full from my sandwich at Better Buzz. But the carbonara, oh, I was so good. Trevor was really nice. He shared like a third of his carbonara with me and oh my god, it's incredible. You have to get the carbonara. Wolfie's carousel bar was really, really cool. Definitely worth it to stop at for a drink, but if you want to sit on the actual like part that's a carousel because like the seating around the bar actually goes around, it's very, very slow. Like you literally move a foot maybe like every five seconds, so it's not very fast at all. If you want to sit there, you have to make a reservation. Like those seats are reserved, but if you just want to sit down and just enjoy the ambiance, you can definitely walk right in but the espresso martini that we got there my friend michael and i had it <sighs> that is one of the creamiest best espresso martinis i've ever had in my life it better be because it was 20 dollars, but so freaking good so if you want espresso martinis and you're in the little italy area in san diego you have to go to wolfie's carousel bar it's so good and then the last place we went to was kettner's exchange which was really really awesome the decor in there was super nice cocktails weren't bad i would say out of all the places we went to that was my least favorite but it was still really good like it'd still give it like a seven out of ten so yeah pretty cool and then also trevor and i randomly stumbled upon some pirate ships as you guys saw so that was kind of cool to see it was over by the embarcadero area not that far from little italy if you're walking around so if you like old timey ships and stuff definitely hop over there but yeah overall actually a really really good san diego day especially since we were just doing a day trip we did so much stuff it was jam-packed but we enjoyed everything that we did today the day as a whole i would give a 10 out of 10 but i'm exhausted like, I'm so tired. Trevor and I both had our, like, pedometers on, and we walked, like, 20,000 steps. So, I'm gonna go to sleep, <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with us to San Diego. Peace.